Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, although you are in my house, we are actually going to be going shopping together. However, the brand doesn't have a physical store, so we're going to be virtually shopping on my computer. The brand today is Amen, which is a New Zealand activewear brand. I've heard a lot about them. There's pros and cons in this situation. The cons being that I can't show you what things look like on unless I'm actually buying them and spending the money on them, which is unfortunate because normally when I do come shopping with me's, I get to try on a whole bunch of stuff that's in the shop and then I don't necessarily have to buy it, but I've still been able to show you what it looks like on. However, the pros to doing it this way and looking through the website is that we can actually look at everything that's in there even if I'm just scrolling past it because you'll be able to see everything that I'm looking at rather than in the store I might see everything but I might only pick out 10 things to take into the changing rooms with me which means that you guys are only seeing 10 things but today you'll be able to see everything so the first part of the video is the come shopping with me part and then the second part of the video is going to be trying on the pieces when they arrive which obviously I can't do for a week or so until they actually arrive Right, but you'll see it today in this video. Do let me know if you've purchased anything from Amen in the past. I actually haven't, although I've heard a lot about the brand. I've seen them a lot on Instagram through other New Zealand influencers. But I'm very excited to try another New Zealand brand today. Hopefully their pieces are good quality. I'm really hoping to actually replace some of my old Gymshark activewear because I don't really want to be promoting Gymshark on my channel anymore. I don't really want to get into that today. Today is all about Amen, so let's go and do some shopping. All right, so this is the Amen website. Um, as you can see, they've got their throwback collection on the screen here, which is a recent collection that they've just launched. I think these were like their original prints when they first launched their brand. Really fun prints and funky colors. I think I'm just gonna open a whole lot of tabs and we're just gonna have a little bit of a look through. So I'll open up tights and shorts, cause that sounds great. Sports bras and crop tops, long sleeve tops and t-shirts. Let's have a little look at their casual and streetwear and their swimwear. I'm not going to get any swimwear, but I'll show you what's there and accessories. So starting off with some tights, shorts and leggings. So this bubblegum collection with this pink color is one that they've launched quite recently. This is interesting actually. On the full length, there's lots of like little cutout details and stuff. And then on the 7 8 length there isn't a lot of detailing. I'm gonna open that up and have a think. I do also love this cloud color but I'm not sure if it will be a little bit too like skin colored on me because I'm so pale. I already have a very skin colored pair of leggings and I don't wear them very often because I feel a bit like I'm naked when I wear them. And this is cute as well. They also do um, matching kids leggings. So if you're a mum and you want to be all cute and matching with your kid, then I think that's super cute. Some of them, the price isn't showing up. I know that it does when you actually go into it, but um, see how there's just a dollar sign and no actual price here. I do want to try a pair of shorts from them, I think. It's just a matter of what color. So I'm going to open these up and have a think. Aren't these the same ones that I already clicked on? The bubblegum seven eighths. Oh, and then there's the bubblegum shorts. These look pretty cool as well, actually. Or there's the black shorts. These ones are a bit shorter. That might be a better length for me. I'll have a think. Oh, I love this color, the espresso. Again, though, I'm not sure how close it would be to my skin color. These ones are a shiny effect, which is very different. I'm not going to get those, but um, I think that's probably pretty cool if you're into that. This green color is nice. Let me open those up in the shorts. Here's that shiny material, but in a short. And then there's another legging in that shiny material in a different color. They've also got maternity, which is great. These are in that shiny material as well. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these things I've opened up so far. We've got the bubblegum 7 eighths. These are $115. So it's here, flexible four-way knitted ribbed fabric. Moisture wicking properties. That's good if you're going to be sweating at the gym. I'm not sure how squat proof they would be. I guess that would be something interesting to find out. But I guess it's whether or not I like the color. Would I wear it or not? These ones are only a hundred dollars, so these are a bit cheaper. These are plain black, which would be 
definitely my comfort zone for the gym and they're also not that ribbed material then we've got the cloud color in the short version these are 65 dollars I'm gonna go ahead right now and say I wouldn't feel comfortable being in a light color like this at the gym. So I'm gonna close that one. Different leggings, these are the black seamless boost tights. So these are the ones with the really cool cutout details on them. These are also $100. These could be quite cool. I think I'm gonna close the other black tights because I prefer these ones. And look how high-waisted they are as well. They're totally covering her belly button. Okay, so these are the shorter shorts. Also $65, but obviously they don't come down as far as the other ones. I think these would be quite flattering. The only thing that is holding me back from these ones is that when your skin touches the machines at the gym, like when you're sitting on the seats and you're wearing shorts rather than leggings, you can kind of stick to the seats a little bit and then it gets a bit uncomfortable. But if I wanted to do a home workout, I would love to wear a pair of shorts like these. Well, there's the espresso, but these are the longer shorts. I really like how these look. The same one's in green, this one's called the Hydro Color. Well, there's the 7 8 length. I'm gonna close the bubblegum color because I prefer the green. Ooh, I do like this color actually, the concrete color. All right, I'm gonna close the green shorts and the espresso shorts because these are my favorite color so far. Okay, so I've still got these leggings, the short shorts, the green leggings and the concrete shorts open. I'm going to leave them to think about at the moment and go on to sports bras and crop tops. This looks really nice actually. I mean $80 is a lot but looks kind of cute. Now do I want to match or do I want to mix colors? Depends. Let's have a look at this high support bra. I really, um, I know these colors are really cute and stuff, but I'm not into these bright colors, I don't think. I quite like this color. I might open that one up. Again, there's this shiny material that you could go for. Oh, I could get the matching concrete one. Ooh, or one with a zip. That's interesting. Although, the zip adds an extra $15. <laughs> so most of these are all the same, just in different colors. So we've got this fleecy crop top would be so nice in winter, even if you just wore it to and from the gym. How cute does this look? Eighty bucks is a lot though for something that you know I could just wear a jumper or a jacket that I already have to the gym. No, I'm not gonna buy it, but I thought I would show you because I think it's super cute. Then this high support bra for seventy five dollars. Um, so it's got the kind of racer back style. Oh, here's the leggings and the shorts that I still have open. So. Yeah, it would be a nice one to pair with either of those because the colors would match. I'll leave this one open for a minute. I do like this color, although, as I said, I'm not sure that light colors are my comfort zone at the gym, especially if I want to wear the bras without padding. I think they have removable padding. Let me check. Yeah, removable padding. So that's all good. Also, these are medium support. So I would say for like lifting weights and anything other than cardio, these will probably be all good. I love that they have different body types wearing all of the different clothes so you can kind of pick and choose like what does your body look like so you can kind of see what it would look like on you. I think I'm going to go for a darker color so I'm going to close this one. So this is the same but in concrete and then this is the one with the zip. So an extra $15 for a zip. It's got a nice low back though. So this one still has removable padding, also medium support. 
I like it, but I don't think I like it $15 more than the normal one. So I'm going to close the zip. Oh, okay. We're on to long sleeve tank tops and t-shirts. So hang on. What have I still got open? The high support black bra and the concrete ribbed one. So just two choices there. These look like some nice kind of cold weather hoodies. I don't need them, but nice to know they're there. So there's singlets, there's shirts and long sleeve shirts as well. Oh, and then the crop tops. What would I want to wear at the gym? Do you reckon sweat patches would show up on this color? I mean, that's always the thing if you're wearing sleeves at the gym is whether or not you're going to get sweat patches, which is why I tend to go for a singlet. So here's the thing with these crop tops. I love how they look, but I always find with a high neckline at the gym, I get annoyed, like my neck gets annoyed and I'm always tugging it down and away from my neck. So although I love how this looks, I'm not going to be opening any of these. I wish they had like loose fitting tanks instead of these tight ribbed singlets. It's just what I would prefer to wear at the gym. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go for a singlet. These jackets are quite cute. Oh, if I were to, it would be this color though. That looks so cute. I love this hoodie that they do as well. I mean, it's sold out, so I can't get it, but that would be such a cool like streetwear thing to wear as well, like outside of the gym. So I've opened the Latte Ribbed Seamless Long Sleeve Top. I think it would go quite nicely with this concrete color. Although if I was gonna wear long sleeves, I would probably be wanting long leggings as well. I don't think I need this. I'm never going to be cold enough to want long sleeves at the gym. Or there's the singlet in the same color as the leggings. I like this low scoop back actually, although if you're wearing the bra underneath, you probably see it through that. Oh, where's the different models for this one? Oh, I guess we just get the one this time. I feel like $60 for a singlet is a bit pricey. Oh, and then we've got the casual and streetwear. I think we've seen a lot of it. Oh, here's the black version of that hoodie that I really like. So that's $80. And then they've got the sweatpants. Doesn't say how much though. Really doesn't want to tell us the price of these sweatpants. Let me open them up and see. They also do like skirts and dresses, which is very interesting. So, okay, $100 for the track pants. They look really nicely fitted though. Like they look super cozy and comfortable. I don't think I need them though. And then we've got some swimwear. I love this high waist. How nice is that? I think these one pieces look really flattering as well, like with the v-neck and stuff. Bit of leopard print. And then finally, we've got accessories. So I do want to pick up one of these resistant band sets. I guess it's just a matter of color, pink or black or pink or black. Don't know. Let me think about it. Um, there's scrunchies and beanies. They've got the hats as well, which would be good if you like to work out outdoors. Ooh, or I could get gray for the resistance bands. They're $30 and I think it's a set of three. I think they're all different kind of resistances. Resist, is that a word? So it comes with the bag. Yeah, so it's got light, medium and heavy resistance. Oh, and it even says on them which one's which. That's really good. What do the pink ones look like? I can't decide. I think I'm going pink. Why not? Let's just go pink. I'm going to add that to my wish list. Okay, what have I still got left? So, yep, I'm going to pop these leggings in my wish list. And the shorts, Ugh. no, not these shorts. 
I'm gonna put these shorts in my wish list. I'm just, I'm not sure about the color. You know what? I really don't do a lot of cardio at the gym. So since this one is 75 and the other one is 60, I'm going to not put this one in my wish list, but I will put this one in. I'll put the singlet in my wish list as well. So I've got the six things in my wish list and I'm going to end this part of the video here. So the next thing you're going to see is the things that I decide to buy. Here we are, my Amen package has arrived. I ordered this on Saturday. I'm filming this on Wednesday, which means it only took, I mean, five days, but only three working days to arrive, or even two and a half, because it arrived while I was at work today. Just quickly, I wanted to mention, Amen does actually have a winter sale on at the moment from 25 to 70% off a lot of their items. So I missed out because I ordered this a few days before the sale started, but hopefully, if I get this video up in time, the sale will still be on. The bag itself is compostable, so that's one little thing that's good for the environment, so don't check it out. First up, we have the concrete ribbed seamless biker shorts. I got everything in a size small in the end. I'm not sure how well it's going to fit yet. I will show you in just a moment. So these are the biker shorts. I was really drawn to the color. I like that they're dark but not black, so they're just something a little bit different. They've got the little logo in metal just on the side at the front here. And then at the back, they've got the little scoop bit to make your butt look good. One thing that I have noticed just from holding them up is I know with my Gymshark leggings, if I hold them up like this, they're completely flat at the back. But these ones, you can see there's actually a bit of space for your booty. So hopefully they'll be nice and comfortable. Let's try them on. So this is what they look like on. They fit Great, I love that they're super high-waisted. Um, I'm not getting any camel toe, which is great because with the Gymshark like, leggings and stuff, I do. So that is great. That is what they look like from the back. Does my butt look good? Hopefully. Um, surely they'll be squat-proof. Should we do a test? They feel so comfortable. Uh, yeah, I love these. And then to go with that, I picked up the Concrete Ribbed Seamless Bra, also in a size small. So this is it here, and it does have removable padding. It's not particularly padded though, like it's just, I don't know if you can see how thin that is. There's no like actual padding to it, it's just a little piece of very thin material. The actual material of the items themselves though feels quite thick and durable and like really well structured. The straps are not adjustable on this so hopefully it'll be about right. It's a little bit higher at the front and then has a bit more of a lower kind of scoop at the back. And then also at the back they've got their little logo on that metal plate again. And this is the bra. I love it! Even though it doesn't have adjustable straps it is a really good kind of length for me. It's slightly more modest than the Gymshark ones, I think, so I possibly would be comfortable wearing this without something over top at the gym. This is how it looks from the back. I really like it. It's not like gripping anywhere, but at the same time it feels nice and supportive. Not like super supportive, like I wouldn't do cardio in this, but for weights and the things that I like to do at the gym. Um, it's definitely holding me in and I would feel great in this at the gym. I will feel great in this at the gym this weekend. I couldn't go past those gorgeous black leggings with the cutout details. So these are the black seamless boost tights. So these actually still have that ribbing detail up the top and a little bit down the side at the top here as well. They've got that same nice little booty lifting shape at the back there. These are obviously longer. These are leggings rather than shorts. And they've got these really cool cutout details on the leg, which you'll be able to see once I try them on. I'm very excited about these. Let's just go ahead and try them on. And here are uh, the black leggings. Oh my gosh, I love these. They're nice and high-waisted again. Um, totally squat proof, I think, from what I can see anyway. I love these cutout details. They're just so like flattering on your legs. No weird camel toe or anything. Like we are all good in this. It is definitely structured. Like it's coming in and fitting really well in all the right places but it doesn't feel restrictive at all and it's not like I don't have fat bulging over it either so it definitely fits well so smalls were good for me I would say they're true to size again we've got the little butt detailing here that 
helps your booty look nice. So yeah, this is probably my favorite out of the lot. I love this. Evie's complaining that I've closed that door there. She never goes in there anyway. And then last up in this little bag, which feels a little bit like leathery, we have got the resistance bands. So it's really cool that they come in this little bag so that you can actually just pop them in, take them to the gym with you or take them to the park with you, wherever you're taking them. So it comes with three resistance bands. As you saw, there were a few different colors to choose from. I've got the pink ones, light resistance, medium and a heavy one. I can't wait to start getting some workouts in with these. I think they'll be a great alternative when I don't really feel like driving to the gym. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on how I'm using these at home. Super happy with the resistance bands as well. I forgot to talk through this part, but as you can see, they look pretty good. I haven't really used resistance bands before, but yeah, looking forward to some home workouts with these. And that wraps up today's video. I'm super excited to start wearing these new pieces to the gym and using the resistance bands at home. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to subscribe. I upload a new video at least once a week, although I'm trying to upload twice a week at the moment, Mondays and Thursdays. If there are any other New Zealand brands that you'd like me to focus on in this Come Shopping With Me series, then let me know in the comments section. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!